it's going to load up another splash screen and take you to your profile page. Now, profile is super important because you want to use your legal information, so like your full legal name, not nicknames, not like shortened versions. So if you're Richard, don't put in Richie. You want to put Richard there. And the reasoning for that is it helps you clean up your credit profile and it helps improve your credit scoring just even cleaning up your personal information. Uh, because a lot of people will have like various spellings of names and and also if you've had any other bad accounts somewhere that used Richie but you're actually Richard whenever we dispute that account and we've also gotten Richie deleted it might make it easier to help delete that other um, account or at least fix it okay so I'm going to put in a first name here and once again we're uh, masking this information or blurring it out you would only choose a suffix if you actually have a suffix, second, third, fourth, fifth, junior, senior. If you don't have a suffix, just click back outside of that so that you don't choose one. And then we're going to load in a date of birth. Now on an Android, you have to select your year that you were born in first. So I'm going to scroll back here to a birth year. And then we're going to uh, mouse over on the calendar to a birth month for that same year. Confirm that. And then I'm going to click a date and then OK. And then I'm going to confirm that everything is right there. And then I'm going to load in a social security number. And again, this information will be blurred out. We're going to scroll down and put in a phone number. And once again, we're going to blur this out as well. And then a physical address. So the physical address is where you live currently and not an address that you're moving to, not an address that you've moved from, but where you're living currently. Line two of this is if you have an apartment number. So this user does have an apartment number. Uh, so you could put like APT and then the apartment number, or you could put like a uh, hashtag and pound number. And then we're going to put in a city. And then on an Android device, you need to click the uh, drop down list uh, indicator over to the far right and then scroll down to choose your state and then we're going to load in a zip code now right underneath of here this is the bottom of the screen it says mailing same as physical and that indicates yes that the mailing address is the same as a physical address if you uncheck that and move that slider to the left now another area opens up down here where you could load in like a PO box now this user does not have a PO box so I'm going to delete that from here but this is what you would use if you use a separate mailing address. But since we're not doing that, I'm going to move the slider back over here and that field disappears. And then we move all the way up here to the top right of the screen where it says save and we're going to click save to save your profile information.